This is Joseph Drust, and welcome back to another episode of Ask ZBrush. So we had a question sent in asking, is there a way I can quad cap a cylinder object? So to start off, I just have ZBrush loaded up, and I just have an example here loaded in. So the question is asking about taking a cylinder object, like this one here, and instead of generating a cap where all the edges go to a single middle point, take that cylinder object and generate a quad cap or something like this. So these points here throughout this cap consist of all quadded geometry. So how can I go by taking a cylinder like this and then generating a quad cap for it? So the process to do this involves using mesh fusion along with insert meshes. So to start off, first I'm gonna come over to the tool palette over here, and I'm just going to click and grab a plain 3D object. So here we have our plain 3D object here. Now, any of the objects inside of ZBrush that have this 3D after them, except for the PolyMesh 3D object, are going to have this initialize menu. So in the tool palette, if we go down to initialize, in here there'll be some various sliders that are gonna allow you to tailor how that shape is going to be, and then after you have that shape to your liking, you can then turn it into a PolyMesh 3D object and then sculpt on it as needed. So for this plane object here, what I wanna do is I wanna remove all the horizontal and vertical divides. So I'm gonna go to the tool palette, I'm gonna go down to the initialize menu here, and I'm gonna change the H divide down to two and the V divide down to two. So this is just going to give me a two triangle polygon. Now after I have this to my liking, I'm gonna come to the tool palette up here and I'm gonna click make poly mesh 3D. So that has now taken that object and now converted it to geometry that ZBrush can use to modify. Now after I have this in my scene here, I now just wanna divide this a little bit. And the process I'm doing here is I'm taking this simple plane object and I'm going to generate that cap shape that I'm then gonna use to replace the cap of my cylinder. So I'm gonna go to the geometry palette over here and I'm just gonna click divide twice here. So I'm gonna divide once and then divide twice. And then now I'm gonna to come to the geometry tab here. I'm gonna click delete lower, which is going to remove those subdivisions I just added. And you can see now I'm gonna be left with this shape. So this is giving me that cylindrical cap that consists of all quad geometry. Now, one little step we have to do after we've done this division is we wanna remove this crease that was currently around that plain 3D object. So I'm gonna to go to the geometry tab here, go to the crease area, and in here I'm gonna click uncrease all, and that is now gonna remove it from the cap here. Now, the next thing I wanna do is I wanna take this single-sided cap, and I wanna turn it into an insert mesh brush. So I'm gonna to go to the brush palette over here and open this up, and then I'm gonna to go to the create menu, and in here I'm gonna click create insert mesh. This is going to take the object that I have on my canvas here, and it's gonna make a new brush out of it that contains this part. So coming over here and clicking Create Insert Mesh, I'm gonna get a little dialog that's gonna pop up. I'm gonna click New to this, and this is now going to generate a new Insert Mesh brush that contains that part. Now, one thing also to note about this object here, that this currently has 16 sides. So this is important to remember. So now I'm gonna to go to my tool palette again. I'm gonna select my cylinder 3D primitive. I'm gonna to go to that initialize tab here at the end of the bottom. It has a bunch of sliders that I can change to manipulate the primitive. I'm first going to set the align option to Z. So the center of the cylinder is facing me. And then I'm also gonna come over here and set my H divide to 16, which is the amount of sides that the insert mesh cap I just created had and then I'm gonna take my V divide all the way down to three. So now if I rotate the object here, you'll see I have a cylinder shape. I have 16 sides around the edges of it, and the front and the back both contain that single pole. So after I have my cylinder set up, I'm gonna come back to my tool palette up here. I'm gonna make this a PolyMesh 3D object. And then after this has been created, I now wanna go through and assign polygrouping to each of the caps and then the part in the middle. So I'm gonna go to the tool palette again, I'm gonna go to the polygroup area here. I'm gonna do groups by normals, which is going to look at the surface normals of the mesh and apply polygroups to those areas. So now I have a polygroup on the back, polygroup on the middle, and a polygroup on the front. Now the polygrouping on the mesh here is required when using mesh fusion. So to use the mesh fusion process inside of ZBrush, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the insert mesh that I created for that cap. 
I'm going to draw it out across this polygroup here. And then after clearing the mask twice, ZBrush is going to take that cap and it's going to replace the polygroup that I'm currently on with that object. And that's gonna give me that nice quad cap. So I'm going to position my cylinder like this. I'm now going to come across the center point of the cylinder here. Make sure I have that insert mesh brush selected with that quad cap that I generated. I'm going to come across the center here and click and drag to draw this out. And after it's about this size, I wanna release. And you'll now see that the cylinder object is masked and then that insert mesh cap is now unmasked. So now the next process involves clearing the mask twice. And this is going to take that object that I just added to the mesh and replace that polygroup. Before we do that, we wanna turn off SMT in the geometry menu. So I'm gonna come back to the tool palette up here and go to the geometry tab. And then in here next to the divide, there's this SMT modifier. So I'm gonna turn this off, so just come over here and click that. Now the SMT modifier, if it is on, when you do the mesh fusion process, mesh fusion will smooth the surface of your model as it performs that replacement. However, if it is off, it will not perform that smooth process. Now, since our cap here is already nice and circular, we wanna make sure this is off, so when the replacement happens, it's not going to smooth the rest of my cylinder shape. So now that I have that turned off, I can now hold control and do the mask clear process twice. So holding control, clearing the mask once, and then holding control and clearing the mask again. And on release of this second mask clear, that mesh fusion process is going to happen. And you'll see that it's taken the poly group that I had selected, which was that front cap there, and has now replaced it with that insert mesh part. You'll also notice that when this process happens, it's gonna add a little extra edge loop. To clean this up, I can use the Z Modeler brush. So I can come over to the brush palette, open this up, and then down at the bottom here, I'm gonna select the Z Modeler brush. I'm gonna hover across that edge, hold down Alt and click, and that's gonna now remove it. And now I have my quad cap created. Now I can do the same process on the other side. So I'm gonna rotate back to the back side of my cylinder here. I'm gonna go back to the brush palette up here and select that insert mesh cap that I created. Come across the middle of that polygroup on the back there, click and drag, hold shift to drag it out so it's aligned to an axis. After it's drawn out, now I can just perform that unmask process twice. So I'm gonna hold down control, drag off once, hold down control, drag off again, and that will now perform that mesh fusion. Then I can now come back to the brush palette, select the Z Modeler brush, remove that extra loop, and now I have my cylinder shape with both ends with that quad cap. At this stage, if you want to regroup your mesh with polygroups, I can go to the tool palette again, and go down to the polygroup area and do that groups by normals one more time. So now I'll have a nice clean polygroup on the one cap, clean polygroup on the other cap, and then a clean polygroup down in the middle. Now, after you've created this insert mesh cap piece once, you can save this out as a new brush, and then anytime you wanna create a quad cap on a cylinder object, you can just select that brush, then use the mesh fusion process to replace those caps on the end of your cylinder, and then you can continue modeling. So if you have any other questions related to ZBrush pipelines or processes, please use the hashtag AskZBrush on Twitter. Happy ZBrushing.